everyone. So this um, today is the start of our new chapter for for art appreciation. So from the poll that we had recently, um, it's obvious that we will be using photography and film for our um, medium or format of art. But before we move on to that, for those people who have seen the two other threads for this particular meeting, September 8th, um, the second meeting or the second thread is all about our topic as usual, topic thread. Drop a like if you have downloaded, visited the website or downloaded the PDF or the, P the PowerPoint. And then the third thread, the third new thread is the partial grade consultation. So again, I, I practice or I would like to practice um, transparency in the class. So um, whatever major requirement that you have, not necessarily exam, but major requirements, like for example, um, a quiz, a performance task, I will make it a point that you see your grades. Uh -oh. This is important as for you guys to know your standing or if not, at least your progress, um, whether you're grade conscious or not, at least you would know na if, you're, if you have missed something or if I have missed something, at least you would know. And then um, in my case, at least I would know if I, I forgot some, some parts from your class record or from your record, diba. So at least we both of us won't be ambushed or surprised when we are to submit the grades for uh, on the NUIS. So at least it will work both ways. Um, you get to have the grade that you deserve or that you worked worked for. And syempre ako naman, I won't be I won't be hassled or I won't be stressed out having missing items or missing requirements from you guys. So yeah. Um, don't be surprised if we will have constant grade consultations or partial grade consultations because I don't want to spend the last few meetings uh, of the semester collecting or compiling previous previous materials or previous requirements back in midterm. I don't want to back read or backtrack way, 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 way long or way farther than, than we are supposed to. Right? So, yeah. Okay, so I, at least um, whenever we do great consultations like this, and I, if, if I missed you, missed out something, instead of just saying, uh, um, well, meron kang account, um, activity one or activity two, um, try to, uh, try to, try to post the actual entry, uh, try to screenshot the actual entry so that um, it will be easier for me to, to, to check. Uh -oh. Kasi, yun nga, you, uh, some, some of you guys told me na, sir, meron ako activity one. Eh, yeah. Um, yun naman yung point. Kaya lang syempre, because I did not find it. So, again, recently, Microsoft have has been having issues with their platforms. Um, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Teams, nagkakaroon ng issues. So, minsan, it's either um, may, may server issue talaga si Teams or minsan, when I scroll, I, I happen to miss out some names oh, that, because of my scroll wheel. Nag-skip siya minsan. So, yeah. Again, when that happens, try to screenshot your ano, your activity na lang. so it will be a lot easier to check so again so that's that at least you would know what to do whenever we'll be having additional or partial grade consultation again this is for you guys so um yeah you would know uh, at least hopefully you'll be you'll be what do you call that you'll be inspired to complete every materials or every requirements again um not not all requirements are difficult i'm i'm hoping not all requirements are difficult. Um, it's just sometimes that we need to comply or we need to complete certain requirements lang naman. That's it. So as as far as I can see with the quizzes, um, you did you all uh, all of you did good. Uh, so yeah, um, like for example, we have the highest so far, and I, I believe it was Joanna. She got a twenty. Yeah, Joanna got the highest, uh, followed by Christian Jax. Uh, yeah, uh, also also Janica, Janica Yuto. Okay, so guys, um, yeah, um, need I remind you, this is a mere quiz. Um, this is not the end all be all of your requirements. Again, um, if you are to ask my opinion, I I, I would like or I I give more on subjective requirements like the activities that we will be having eventually, yung actual um, 
hands-on requ- requirements natin and the essays or the yung mga daily activities that we have or that you answer um, from there nakikita ko kasi how how you learn from our topics diba unlike uh, unlike the sub- unlike the objective type we're in you're, you're you're constrained with the time limit you're constrained with the device that you're having minsan naglolo ko din talaga yung server for whatever reason so again hindi ko talaga siya um I don't see the quiz or the objective quiz as parang a reflection of your of your of your of what you've learned. I I really look forward to activities like your essays instead of this quiz. So don't um don't worry guys for those who got a low grade again I would rather have or I would rather see low grades from you than high grades but I know that you're cheating or I know that you did or uh, you you did something else to get that grade uh uh-huh. So yeah, don't be, don't don't hesitate to upload your low scores or low grades. Again, um, the reason we're here is for us to learn or for us to appreciate art, di ba? And if ever um, if ever the time came na that grade will will have uh, an occurrence uh, on your scholarship or whatnot, then we'll try to do something. So um, I don't want you guys stressing out or stressing yourself out. Regarding low grades or low 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 results for quizzes or activities. Okay, so again, if needed, we'll work things out with, uh, with your quiz. So try not to stress yourself too much about it. Okay, so that's agenda number two. So shall we go on with the topic at hand? Okay, um, brief a uh, brief recap. For the past few weeks, we've been discussing the uh, the introduction to art appreciation. So from the approaches, functions, and purposes, for and a little bit of qualities and significance like um, art should be timeless, art should be universal. Those things, those are basically an intro lang, an introduction to how we should appreciate art and what happens when we appreciate art. Now from this week forward, we'll be actually doing or focusing on particular art forms or f- formats that would still hopefully make you appreciate b- uh, art better uh, but of course you have decided that we will stick with photography and film which i really appreciate because if you chose anything else like um for for uh, for sculpture and architecture i already bought some materials from from Lazada um molding clay, um, various um, illustration board sizes, cutters. So I I, I came prepared. But yeah, um, again, uh, I would still be using them even if we, we did photography and film. Um, I, I've been doing that as a hobby way back, way back when I was not even teaching yet. Uh-oh. But again, because we, you chose photography and film, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that you did so because that is basically the... Most affordable, as in downright, you won't be even spending on anything at all, other than your PP, um, Wi-Fi or data allocation. But otherwise, you won't be spending anything for photography and film. Okay, so um, that was that is one of my pet peeves when a subject requires a lot of expenses or um, it's very expensive. Uh, I don't like subjects that takes too much of your money. Lalo na that you already paid for your tuition. Tapos may gastos, additional expenses. I don't like that. So, yeah. Thank you for choosing photography and film. And uh, I would try my best for you guys to first enjoy the subject. And second is to learn then. Uh, either you learn how to shoot um, good photographs or at least appreciate good photographs. And syempre, the next one, at appreciate good films. Uh-oh. So yeah, without further ado, let's start with the first topic, elements of art and elements of photography. Supposedly, elements of art was to be discussed way back before our elements of photography. But seeing, or eventually you'll be seeing the the similarities, the two is very similar. So without further ado, let's start with our topic, which I am still finding or looking for here in this slide okay let me check i have to open this one okay i'm sorry 
So yeah. Elements of art. Okay. So first, we'll be discussing the elements of art. I'll try to use the screen over here. Okay. Yeah. For those people who are currently online, you can or live, you can see that um, I've opened a PDF file, which I basically that's basically the same PDF file that I posted for you guys. So for those people who don't want to download anymore, then just watch this. Okay. So uh, um, this is um, I'll make this short because the real topic here is elements of our um, elements of photography. This is just um, a brief of a sidebar or segue. Elements of art. So we have line, shape, forms, space, color, and texture at the very bottom. Okay. Line is siempre. You guys are architecture or engineering students. Uh, you of all students should know this already. So nevertheless, art um, line is and it's an object or it's a structure that has two separate points that they that don't that don't meet. Okay, so um, a line can be horizontal, vertical, or diagonal. That's a straight line. And the next one, the next kind of line is curved. Or free, um, curved or zigzagged or wavy. So yeah, don't na naman naglalaro yun. Those are the two kinds of lines. So yeah, you can you can actually do it on your phone, on on a piece of paper. Anybody can draw a line, di ba? So at least for a more detailed example, yeah, you can do uh, you can draw a horizontal, a vertical, or a diagonal straight line. For the curved, you can do a zigzag, wavy, di ba? Or it can either be thick or thin. The second one is shape. Shape is a closed line. So the two endpoints meet together. There are two kinds of shape. We have the geometric or the uh, symmetrical shape and the asymmetric or the free form shapes. Geometric or symmetrical shapes, these are objects or shapes that are symmetrical in nature. We have circles, squares, rectangle. Okay. Or... or for the free form or the asymmetrical, these are the squiggles, um, like dun sa logo of Nickelodeon or a thought balloon or a splash of water. That those are shapes. Again, the two point or endpoints meet, but it doesn't or it cannot be. Um, it is not symmetrical in nature. Forms. Forms are three-dimensional shapes or shapes in 3D. So boxes or squares can be considered boxes or rectangles can be considered um, boxes pa rin. We have square, um, circle, it becomes a ball. The main purpose of forms is to define or to emphasize on depth. Because shapes provide length and width, forms create or show the depth. Okay. Fourth is, wait lang, one, two, three, four. Fourth is shape, uh, space, sorry. Uh, space is the area between and around the object. The space around objects is often called negative space. Negative space sounds negative, pero in reality, we need negative space for us to look slim, for us to look good or attractive or appealing. Okay, So this is where we will jump to our elements of photography. So um, hopefully you can still see when I jump to the second screen. Wait lang. Yeah, it doesn't work like that. Okay. Wait lang. Stop sharing. Next share. Sorry, I'm really not familiar with this this desktop version of MS Teams. Okay, here we go. So how do I change to yeah? Okay. Yeah. The five elements of photography. So this is basically um our website or our Article on Pinoy Sandbox. Okay, so um, if you happen to see the topic thread, you can click the link heading to Pinoy Sandbox, and it will lead you straight to this particular particular art article. Okay, so the first one is light. For photography, you need light. Shampre first is because the absence of light will result to a pure black image diba? so you won't see anything so yeah the absence or presence of light is important in photography Champre with the absence of light it's either it's pitch black or it's really gloomy or dim or dark diba? so yeah 
um, you can see a lot of apps or softwares that recreates your image to become black and white, diba? or sometimes it's black and white, pero one object is colored. Diba? So again, it's still light. Diba? Kasi with light, it, it creates different colors and we'll eventually get to the color part. Okay. So this particular example that you can see is a church in Macau that I shot. Um, one of the, 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 the reason why I shot this is that because it looks majestic. Diba? Of course, the, the golden, golden, golden yellow or yellow gold lighting helped create the, the, the church look more majestic than ever. Diba? And as we were talking about spaces a while ago for elements of art, you will notice the gray around the church. It's it's this is shot in I think 7 p.m. Uh, in the evening in Macau, but it instead of pitch black it's gray, diba? I, I love I love um, pro mode or manual mode on mobile phone cameras. Okay, so yeah, I, I shot this using my Huawei P30 Pro before. Okay, so yeah, it it really looked it really looked nice. Uh, the that's this is the same image that I saw in real life. Diba? And when you take photo of it, minsan it's different from the picture and from the real life. Diba? But in this case, what I saw is, is exactly the same as what I have here on the photo here. Light is the fundamental element all photographs need because it illuminates the scene or subject. Whether it be natural or artificial light, the quality and direction of light is what's important. Okay. So guys, be um, any one of you knows the importance of light when it comes to photography. You know the term against the light, you know the term contrajure, or for some people, you do know the term contrajure. Contrajure is um, shadow photography. Okay, so yun yung mga silhouette, silhouette lang, diba? It, it's artsy, it's, ano, it's edgy, diba? Pero while we're discussing or while we're having this, your activity, guys, today especially for those who are listening, is for you to drop on the comment section of this particular conference thread your any government ID or school ID. Uh, photos of you, of yourself, on a school ID. Because usually, guys, school IDs or studios taking up your photo for any school ID or government ID only have one lighting system, diba? spotlight in front of you, right smack in front of you, tas katabi niya yung photographer. It's always like that. That's why every photos that we have looks ugly. Diba? Especially, most especially if you have your passport. Um, how many of you have your, have had your passport already? Can I, can I hear from those people who have their part, uh, passports already? Passports or any government IDs? How many have traveled abroad na? Oh, sige, dahil asynchronous wala sumasagot. Okay, good. Sige, very good. Ngayon, um, for, for, the, for your activity, I would like you guys to share your photos. I would, I would, I would, hesitate, um, I would, I would post my, my, my photos or my IDs. Unfortunately, I have to, para, Para fair, diba? So that everyone will get to see how how good looking your their classmates classmates are, how ugly your professors professor is, parang ganon. Pero again, the point there is for us to see that usually photos or ID photos that we have is isn't that great, except if they Photoshop it. Nevertheless, even if they do, it's not as good as having actual good lighting when taking the actual photo, kasi. Okay. So let's go back to the website. So light, again, um, this is very important to create more detail for our photo. But it's it's all it's it's normal for us to post for a photo. But that same photo will differ or will vary given a good lighting lighting system. Um, when I say lighting system, it's always three. It's a triangle um, triangle of lights. Um, the first light is on your 10 o'clock, the second light is on your 2 o'clock, the third and last um, light should be on your 4 o'clock or 5 o'clock. So for vloggers out there, 
or those who are or who would want to start their own vlog site or YouTube channel, that's basically it. When you do your good, um, when you do your lighting, it's always three. That is, that's the safest way to look three-dimensional in your photos or videos. If not, kasi, even if it's light or if it's bright, when you shoot the video, um, you'll have poor results lagi. Okay, so that's how important light is. The second one is color. This is still taken in Macau. It's an alleyway. Um, the first time I got here, wala pa yung, yung lanterns. So it was bare. It, it doesn't look that interesting. But the following day that I that I visited this alley, I saw the I saw the lanterns and it created a different feel of that particular alleyway. Diba? Try to visualize the lanterns gone and it's just any other alley. Diba? But because of the lanterns, we have pink, um, a bit of gold, um, a few reds and some silver or white. Diba? It looked more appealing. Diba? Um, I, I believe some of you guys have been to Chinatown, Lucky Chinatown in, in Binondo or in Manila. Diba? Um, there's this um, walkway parang connecting bridge from one building to the next. Tapos makikita mo din yung mga, yung parang ganitong lanterns, red, mostly red. Tapos it's really good to see. Um, I really have this fascination of looking to, ano, in good, um, looking at good images, whether it's people's faces, um, sceneries, or, yeah, sceneries like in urban sceneries or rural sceneries. I love looking at those. So, if you're pretty, then sadly, I would probably stare at you um, for, for quite a few, you know, quite a while. Because I really appreciate good views. Lage. Hey, like light, color helps to set the mood of an image and can play a significant role in touching the viewer on an emotional level. Color is one of the main factors responsible for making a photo feel mysterious, exciting, sad, or even gloomy. Evoking emotions is important in creating strong images and color is one of our primary tools to do this. Again, this is an in-depth topic. Which, okay, so marami na siya naging topic na ganyan. And um, I, 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 I would still um, suggest that you see different websites then. Not just mine, but different websites um, that, that can provide you other examples. Lalo na for those people who haven't been traveling yet as early... Um, I started traveling very late na. So, I was able to start traveling when I was 25. I went to Dubai and then only recently Singapore. I, I think it was 2017, I think, Singapore. Then 2018, mostly domestic. 2019, I'm sorry. 2018 was Japan. 2019 was Korea. I sorry. 2019 was Japan. And then... Hong Kong, Macau, and then last year, 2019, was Korea. So, yeah, it's um, I I really started late, but I've met students from NU. Yeah, um, I've met a few students who've been to Korea as early as you know college, right? Oh, it took me a decade before I was able to go to my first international trip. Either way, I'm not suggesting that you guys go on an international trip. Kahit domestic lang. Even if you go local, you, you could see great views. Um, I've been to Ilocos Norte. I've been to um, Puerto Princesa. Baguio. Baguio is my default go-to place. Even if I've been accustomed to Baguio na. It's always, I always get to see good things or great views lagi. Every corner is a great um, photo opportunity lagi. So yeah, try to go to local local places if you can't afford or if your mom won't allow you to go international yet. Go to local local tourist destinations. It's really great, guys. So and uh, I think that's that's why I I got fond of taking photos. Um, I only um owned uh and a DSLR once. That's hindi ko na ginamit kasi it's heavy um, and it's thick. Uh, I, I, can't, I can't roam around the city using or wearing um, a strap or camera strap with my SLR on it. So, um, yeah, every every shot that I have here, 
are mostly shot on mobile phones or Huawei's or iPhones. Even even what was my last phone? Vivo. My my current phone right now is Vivo, guys. Actually, I have two phones, but yeah, Vivo is a great phone or it's a great camera. Rin. Yeah, and it's not as expensive as Huawei, Samsung, or iPhone. Okay, so the third one again, the first one we have is light. The second one is color. Again, um, for color, going back to elements of art, color is uh, depicts emotion. It creates a suitable um, mood. Diba? Um, if you are to look for um, the psychology of color, every color has a meaning. So you can use that against ayan, against your photo or against your art uh, wardrobe or apparel. Yari, if you if you are wearing gray or black, um, you would want to play mysterious or or ano or silent or quiet diba? if you are wearing green you are lively or animated or uh, full of life diba? red you red is not love red is intensity diba? when you when you when you hate someone too much when you love someone too much it's always red okay so it's not really about love it's not really about hate but intensity So, um, like for example, on your mobile phones, diba? when you look at your battery, if it's full, it's uh, nowadays it's white. But back then it was, ano, it was green, diba? life, full ang battery. But if you're running out of battery, it becomes orange and then it becomes red. Nowadays, there's no more orange. It's just red. Or minsan, it's plain white pa rin, pero empty na yung battery. So, um, again, they changed it. Pero initially, every phone has li- uh, was like that. Green ang battery pag full and red if it's depleted, diba? So again, they were using the psychology of colors back then. But nowadays, because material design, iOS 13 and now coming iOS 14, they have changed the language or the design language. But nevertheless, everything started by using colors. Okay. Okay, so the next is moment. Moment is, masayang ko muna. A strong moment is more than highlighting a particular subject or action in time. Creating a moment in a photograph should be about having all the elements in a frame come together as to tell a captivating story. So as you can see from the photo that I took, the babe, it was the first time the baby is playing in the pool. Diba? So it already captured that moment. But nevertheless, um, only a handful of people would know that. Diba? Kasi hindi naman nila kalala yung baby. But that is moment for me. Again, we take photos diba, of precious moments that we want to relive, we want to immortalize, we want to be remembered forever, diba? First dates, first uh, first international flight, first salary nyo. When you graduate, when you pass the bar or the board, those are moments to remember, diba? That's why we take photos of them. Okay, so this particular shot, so yeah, this is the first time the baby's swimming in the pool and that's moment, diba? So that's the literal sense sense of the word moment. And then syempre, a more technical sense of the moment naman is that as you can see the baby was playing with the with the water, diba? So yung splash no water on the air or ano floating created a moment. Syempre, diba? Moments should be unusual. It should be unique. And diba seeing water floating, diba? On a photo That's that's moment pa rin guys, diba? Um take a, um if you have a roof, rooftop, visit your rooftop, take a photo of anything, and that's that, that's normal, diba? But if you take a photo of the same scene during sunrise or sunset, it creates a moment pa rin. Kasi it was shot on a particular time of day, diba? Pag may golden ano um golden hour yung yellowish yung paligid similar to the shot of um of the church that i watched you or showed you diba so again the the image or the the subject will have uh, a golden hue to it so that is moment pa rin kasi you took it on a particular time of day same so paggabi diba now this photo again shows splashes of water in the air Diba? So, again, commonly, water should be on the floor, on the surface, diba? pero not floating. And that's why this is a good example then of moment. Kasi diba? water should, be, should not be flying around like that. Diba? 
So same with you guys. When you do jump shots sa photo, kasi with a photo, it would make you look like you're floating, di ba? When you're floating, syempre, it's not normal. And when you take a photo of yourself floating, then that's normal. Uh, that's not normal. Making it a moment shot, di ba? So jump shots, uh, what else? Yung mga para flying kicks. Those are the things that you can do for your photo that would make it more interesting, make it more eye-catching. Moment shots like those. Okay, so again, we have the first one, we have light. Second is color. Our third is moment. Fourth is com composition. Wait lang, let me drink my coffee first. Okay, I'm running out of juice. Okay, composition. Remember guys, when you had your class picture, your group picture, any picture at all that would require more people on the frame. Yeah, um, photographers would set you on a particular seating arrangement, right? Or your professor would want you guys to stand up at the at the topmost, and for the ladies sit in front. So again, there's a specific part or specific designation. You don't just randomly put people on your photo or on your on your frame, diba? That's composing your shot. How does it work? Like in class photos, diba, your, your professor or your teacher or the photographer himself would want you guys, for the tall guys, to sit at, uh, to stand at the back, diba? And for the short people, you sit in front or the bar stand on the sides, diba? That's always how Composition works for class pictures, di ba? Ganun lagi. Siyempre, for barakada shots, meron kayo yung mga creative shot, meron kayo yung mga parang jeje lang kung anong ginagawa nyo sa kamay nyo. You're playing with your fingers. You're, you're like Naruto with your hand gestures, di ba? Parang ganun. Pero nevertheless, you create a particular composition. Vloggers, bloggers, and um, content creators do that when they present when they present their ano, their product, the one that they're reviewing or recommending or sponsoring, you know, they have a particular way of presenting the item. Diba? It's not just, bam, this is the photo. The, bam, this is me opening or unboxing the, the box. No, um, it is very measured. Though, um, any scenes or any item that you see on the screen is intentional. Okay? Lana, if the content creator you're watching or vlogger that you're watching has been doing it for some time. Everything is intentional. So that's why you compose a shot. Diba? Or that's how you compose a shot. Every part of the, of the, of the picture is intended. Okay? So that's how you compose. Like for example, this shot. Uh, actually, this shot is wrong. I, I, I failed to remove the guy behind my wife. So, nakita siya. Pero nevertheless, kasi um, I had to take a photo of this this subway, um, Japanese subway train station kasi it looked nice. Diba? So, siya. Uh, this is also making use of negative space. So, ne the negative space is the one around my wife. It made her look slim. Diba? So, yan. Yeah, another use of negative space yan. Diba? It doesn't have to be black. Pero it made her look slimmer. Diba? Composition, in essence, is about putting together objects in your frame in such a way as to emphasize the parts you want to and make them stand out in a particular way. So this particular shot, because I want my wife to be emphasized, I made use of focal points. Focal points create a bokeh effect or a depth of field. Depth of field is wherein um, your foreground or your subject is very clear, very vivid, or very sharp, but your background is blurred. So that's um, that's focal point. Um, that's that's the part of your camera that creates depth of field. Um, for your digital cameras, um, it's only a matter of tapping the the subject, tapos magba background. The, the background will be blurred already. So that's the beauty of mobile phone cameras. Lana, if your mobile phone camera has more than one, ca one camera lens, uh, so the the first camera would focus on the subject and the second one will focus on the processing and the background hence creating a very bokeh b o k e h effect okay distance 
distance of the um, the distance photographer chooses to be from their pro, um, from their subject will affect the feeling and overall impact of a photo has so this is a shot of my wife this is back in japan the focus is syempre to show um to show the audience how far my wife is from the background so as you can see we're in a cruise ship um, the island of japan or tokyo is medio a bit far so it, it that that's the basically the point of the photo it's not about my wife lang but the scenery behind her so syempre a bit of a bragging rights i would want to see uh, i would want people to see that she's in japan so that's sort of thing diba this is normal for travel photographers the travel photographers every shot although they have someone on the on, on the frame the main important detail is the background or the location always okay so this distance below on this particular article is the powerpoint file for the element of photography so let's try to open it hopefully it will open along with the uh, okay here we go so yeah this is basically the same content the same five elements of photography so okay let's go down light moments color composition and distance so with this you have an extra set of examples for the five elements same content so don't worry so again um this is a prayer vigil done at night you can see from the from this particular shot there's a jolly bee at the far upper right corner and yeah, i think this is a christmas light or uh, night lights and then we have here nuns holding candlelight and then at the back random people wearing um holding candles as well lit candles okay so try to visualize this same photo done in the morning no candles no light and syempre the street lights and jollibee signage is not illuminated okay so it it will make this particular shot this particular people or set of people look like they're just waiting for the bus they would look look like commuters or normal commuters waiting for their vehicle diba right? so it will remove the extra emotion that the light from um the candles and from the street lights create or illuminated the 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 people behind the nuns and the faces or the facial expression of the nuns diba right? so it will disappear leaving you with just people standing holding hands diba right? it's no longer as dramatic okay so that's the beauty of light for color the color that i chose here is this one ashanti in the forest i don't know if it's a forest or it's something else okay so how many colors can you see i see around four at least light blue dark blue blue and yellow or gold so this one shot of this particular hot or particular bahay kubo has a great color palette but basically the color of any blue and gold but pero because of the shading the gra gradient transition from light blue sky to dark blue um what do you call this trees to just black or to gold but created a great great gradient or great shift of color diba? so again it doesn't matter if you have a bright red, bright gold, bright um, whatever color you choose. If it doesn't depict a great transition, then yeah, it will look plain. But so yeah, this simple hut, this simple photo of a hut, creates more dynamic colors that you can imagine, diba? In one single photo, diba? Lana, if you're taking a photo of a class, uh, ano, of students. In, in Manila, diba? often wearing white, diba? it's dull. Diba? But if you take a photo of that same student in a good location where you have various colors, then it will look more lively. Diba? It will look more interesting in the eyes. So that's why people would uh, love to go to Chinatown to take photos of scenery. Because the hustle and bustle of um, Chinatown look makes for a great photo because it's very busy very interesting 
it's not as dull as just taking a picture of a pretty pretty person or a good looking guy diba? but the background would suck so it's either look for a good or um have your subjects or models wear good colors good combination of colors not just the dull uniform that you have for for for, uh, for school diba Moment. Again, my previous example of moment is my wife holding holding a baby. Um, again, two 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 sense of the word moment. The first one is it was the baby's first time playing in the water or playing in the pool, and the second one is the splash of water floating in the air or mid air. So both are moment shots or both are mom- examples of moment. In this case, naman, this is very very. Um, Literal. Yeah, moment, there's nothing special going on. But if you will try to discern carefully, these farmers are either harvesting or planting. Diba? I think it's pineapple. I think it's pineapple. So yeah, um, harvest season or planting season is not always or it doesn't always happen. Diba? It's in a particular part of the year. Diba? So when you harvest pineapples, it's not It's not daily. It's not a daily thing, diba? So when you do, when you see people harvesting, it's so it shows moment already, diba? So this picture alone suggests that may moment. There's mo. There's something interesting happening. There's some something that happens rarely that is rap- happening right at the very uh, at that very moment. So it's worth taking a photo of, diba? And lastly, we have composition. I'm sorry. Composition. Um, this is a simple picture of a guy having coconuts around him. Okay, so what's what's good about this photo is that this photo is the most complete photo ever. Why? Because as you can see, we have this um, the subject at the center on the upper left or center left. We have the background, the nipahat or the bahay kubo at the back. On the upper right, and we have baos or coconut remains, diba? at the forefront. So this is the forefront is our foreground, the center is our subject, and the background is our nipahat or the bahay kubo. So this is um, literally a complete photo. Okay? Because usually, guys, when you take photos of anything, it's usually the subject and the background, right? Or the foreground and then the subject, which, which is the background itself, if you're a travel photographer, the right? So it rarely do you get, or rarely do you make photos that have foreground, subject, and background, right? So again, um, it's one way of creating or composing your shot. If you can have all in one photo, diba? So, yun. You try to create different elements or you try to include all important elements in your frame, diba? So, I'll try to do one um, right after the, the, this particular session that we have right now. Actually, we'll try to do it later. Okay. So, guys, that ends this particular topic. Let me get my frame back to the photography um, PowerPoint file. Okay, I, the photography website. Okay. So again, this all five um, elements of photography should create a more interesting photo for you. Again, not all elements should be there or should be present in one picture, but it would be nice to have one, at least one in your photo. Diba? So, This is the first of our photography class or photography topic. We will have two more and then after that, pure activities na lang or pure quizzes, actual quizzes or actual activities na lang. Making use of your mobile phones or digicam if you have. Okay. So again, this is five elements of photography. Next meeting, we will be discussing... Wait, where was that? Okay. The five elements of composition. Composition being one part of your element of photography, and it has their it has its own list of elements or sub elements, if you will, 
Okay, so we'll try to finish these two. Then we'll make use of the remaining time for our activities. As you have gathered, guys, last meeting or way back in orientation, I think. I think that was during the orientation. Wait, now I'm figuring it out. So what did you choose, by the way? I believe that um, during our discussion, you guys chose a particular set of topics, which is basically photography and film, I think, right? I, I, that's what I can recall. So that's why I'm, we're starting with the photography class. And soon, or by the end of this month, or before the end of this month, you'll be having your midterm exam, okay, or midterm requirement. Okay, so I'm just searching where I can find that particular topic of ours. I had you guys ask, or I asked you guys, what kind of exams would you want? So whether subjective objective or objective subjective or anything goes. I'm I'm actually back reading our discussion. So but I, I, I unfortunately can't find that right now. I, I, I would have to resort to talking to our Bida, Mr. Jerome later. Okay, so otherwise yes, wala talaga, wala talaga. Sadly, sadly wala. Uh, anyhow guys, that's all for today. Hopefully those people who are not, not with us today gets to hear or gets to watch this particular video. Or if not, they can just read the PowerPoint file, the PDF file, or the website or the blog that is provided for you on the topic thread. Anyways, if you have no more questions, guys, we'll continue with the photography part next meeting, including the new topic, composition, or elements of composition. If you have no more questions, guys, do you have any questions? Wale? Again, don't worry. Um, wala tayong quiz or any activity for today because you you just had your first quiz with me. Yeah, this is your rest time muna. The second, the activity, uh, the activity will resume on our synchronous meeting on Friday. But right now, uh, I would want you guys to rest, to take a break, and see you guys next meeting. Bye. Thank you, sir. Bye, sir. Thank you, Paul. Sir. Thank you, Paul.